Morning folks, Andy here. Welcome back to the boat build. Carrying on with this tall cupboard in the corner of the boat. We've done the front, previous vlog, and now, so we've made that. We've now got to make that. So that's what I'm doing now. So we're going to get in the boat. We're going to get this angle so we can make uh, the frame. So we need that. I put some boards in the boat temporarily screwed on just so we can get the the verticals and that angle off them. So we're going to get in there and get well, We can done. see all right in here folks, it's a bit dark because we've no lights inside, they're just lights on either side. We're going to get them rigged back up in here. So that's the height I'm going to with this side panel that tucks under the gunnels. So I've got it squared up. And all I'm going to do is mark this on. And all I need is that angle there. And then the measurements to there. So I'm actually coming up. 10.15. I'm coming out, well it's, it's done for me there, 75. To that top piece. That's that. We've got the height from the other one. And I've got a total depth from there of this cupboard of 500 so that's all I need to do that now it comes up here and there's a curve right the frame I'll make will be to the highest point there which we've already got from the other one and then it will be scribed in to the roof panel but once that's done it will then it'll have a trim around it coming along here and down there to give it the finished look it'll not just be buttered up like that so what we've done there is fine that's enough information to get this done. So we'll get back in shop and uh, get it cracked on. That's it, that's what we're making. We need to get this frame cut out so it matches that frame. It's 10, 8, 1880 tall, 500 wide. So to get that sorted, I've got some cardboard on the bench here. I'm going to draw all that out on it. We've got the angle for that. So we'll get it cut out and I'll go and try it in, make sure it fits. <laughs> So to simply mark that out, all we do is because that's the right size is we go around with a piece of timber which is our frame sizes and we mark it off all the way around so all our joints are there, everything can be seen what we'll do to make this because it's in now you've got a, a long timber up here and then you angled one over there so we've got a cross piece there cross piece at the bottom two sides so we'll do all the this bottom half and that and then that angle 
we'll have to join up, uh, probably pocket all join anyway. So, to, oh, we could use a, a floating tenon, I don't know, we'll see. But that's it now, that's all ready to be made. Put this in, that's the last piece of this jigsaw. Right, like that. And now we need to measure for that panel. 265. So we get clearance, so it's 260. Two sixty. 800 125 should leave us a length approximately 805 when it's marked off that for now we'll get quarter an hour and it's gone off and then um, we can try it in see if we got lucky or not in the meantime let's have a brew
that's it. Well, there we go, that's it. That side panel done. Where it is, that's coming, kitchen's coming here. So actually, you're not going to see this from front side, outside. It's going to be covered with unit for sink and that. But we'll do it all the same anyway. And it looks uh, better on the inside if it's same. For what it is, we had the board, so just use it. So that's it. That's we need to go and try it in. Hey, well, I knocked that corner off. Forgot about that. I'll do that. But basically, that's it. That fits the. Uh, fits great. That. Not that square, but. That's it in it. That'll be fine. And the face frame on here. I'm not fetching that in the belt. Pulling them about. I'll just end up knocking them up. So I can trim that bit off there. So that goes up there. And uh, well, pull a bit more trimming off. So I'll probably just leave it while the roof's on. So that's it. Aye. I like that, I like that, that's fine. And the kitchen units here. So, to just be a small sink and that'll be it. So that's the next thing to make, is to make the kitchen unit. Boo. <laughs> You know it with me. That's my bedroom finished. I'll just put a hook in there. I'll put to just uh, hang my sen up in here. It's about my size, isn't it? That. Anyway, that's it. That's that one done. So it's just held together with a couple of blocks in there for now. And it will need shaping and everything like that when it goes up, but that's it for now. That's it, first fix. So, next thing here, kitchen units. We'll make those next. But, uh, quite pleased with that. Looks, looks good to me. And then some shelves in there. So. That's it for now. So one o'clock Saturday afternoon, time for everybody to go home, isn't it? So so next thing on, we do that kitchen units I think. So thanks everybody liking and subscribing. I hope you enjoy watching how I make things. This is how I do them. It's just one of the ways I try to do things using sort of modern methods. You know, you don't want to be cutting mortise and tenon joints and all that unless you want to be doing and dovetailing joints, which you can do if you want, if you want that look. Take you forever. But uh, this is just easy joinery, you know. It's only DIY stuff, really. So that's it, folks. I'm going. Ta-ra!